The question says, input an employee salary. Okay, so now we are inputting an employee salary. So we're going to use an input box to do that. All right, that's our input. And guys, when you are inputting a salary, a salary is a money value. So I'm going to keep this of type real. I'm not going to keep it as an int. I'm going to keep it as a real. So just keep that at the back of your mind. Uh, find the tax. They want us to find the tax, which is 10% of the salary. So that is our process where we're going to calculate 10% of the salary. And we also need to find the amount that the employee will take home after tax. Right? How much will he take home after tax? Output the amount of tax that he will pay and the take home salary. So that's our question. Now, if you watched my videos carefully, you ought to know I'm using a hash. You ought to know what the hash does, right? For those of you that may have forgotten, the hash is a comment. And when you use a comment, the computer ignores those statements. Now, I'm putting it as a comment so that the question remains on the screen. So let's start with this, right? Input, we want the salary. So let's create a variable called cell, which is equal to, and I want to input, and I'm going to say, enter the employee's salary. Now, immediately, some of you would have realized, but why didn't you do the conversion? Because if you do the input like this, it's inputting the value as a string, right? So remember, I want it as a money value. So I'm going to say float. Float allows me to have the value that has a point in it. It's a real number. Right? Anything dealing with money, always remember we should keep it as a float. So I've done the input. I've entered the employee's salary. So find the tax, which is 10% of the salary. Okay, no problem. Right? I like to leave blank lines. So after my input, I like to leave a blank line. It, it makes no difference. So I'm going to say tax equals 10%. What's 10%? 10% 10 is 10 divided by 100. Right? You have to know your percentages. That's important. 10% of what? 10% of the salary. There we are. Not salary, cell. My variable is called cell. So I'm working on 10%, which is 10 divided by 100 times the cell. I've got the tax. Now let's create a variable called take home. And how much does he take home? Remember that tax is a deduction that's taken away from your salary. So take home is equal to the salary I'm getting minus the tax that I'm paying. So that will give me the take home. It's sell minus tax. Okay, so take home equals sell minus tax. And I've got, that's what the question wanted me. It wanted me to calculate the tax. I've done that. And it wanted me to calculate the take home after tax. And this is the take home after tax that I've calculated. What's left to do? The output. We just now need to do the output. So it wants us to output the tax. Print my message. The tax is and plus and we need to print tax but it has to be converted into a string. So I'm going to say tax. There we are. And I'm going to say print the take home salary is and plus and the variable is called take home. There we are. That's done. 
So I've done my input to get the employee's salary. I've done my calculations, which is the tax and the take home. And I'm then printing. I'm then printing the tax and I'm printing the take home salary. And I use messages whenever I print. I use messages because it's a good idea so that the user understands what is being displayed on the screen. Remember that you are developing this software for somebody else to use, right? And because you're doing it for somebody else to use, they don't know uh, what values are being printed, whether it's the tax or the take home salary. So it's always nice to have a message and then the value. So it just becomes more user friendly for the person who is using the program. OK, uh, I think some of you would have realized immediately that I made a mistake here. The take home salary. What did I forget to do? You have to convert to a string. There we are. That looks better. Right. I'm hoping that you've you picked up that mistake. Um, and if you did, that means, you know, you're on top of your game in terms of learning and understanding Python.